Good evening, everybody. It's Caleb back with another break. We have a quick retail review this evening. I have not been able to find <clears throat> hobby boxes of Absolute Baseball. Uh, they sold out very quickly at our LCS. Uh, They're getting more in, and <clears throat> they will be holding them back for me when they come in. So uh, they will be coming up shortly, the hobby boxes. But I did find some retail uh, today at one of our local retail stores and we have uh, two blasters of absolute and a blaster of tops heritage now you may think why not three blasters of absolute instead of the tops heritage there was very few of the absolute left and uh, I, I just always kind of feel bad when there's like <clears throat> a few left I don't want to take all the last ones and there was so there was four total I took two left two um there was, there was a boy and his father came in right as I was deciding what to get. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to leave them. You know, maybe they're interested in this. So I left them and uh, just grabbed the blaster of Topps Heritage. I didn't want to take it. Um, I don't know exactly what they were there for. And I didn't, you know, stick to find out. I just uh, I just left two. Uh, so that way there was something left for the next person. Um, so anyway, we'll just review these two. And uh, we'll see if the retail has anything good to offer. And then we'll do the Topps Heritage, which is a set I'm actually putting together right now. <clears throat> I will uh, show you guys that as soon as it is done. But um, let's go ahead and get started. We'll do a blaster of Absolute, then we'll do the Heritage, then we'll do the last blaster and see what we can pull. See if we can find anything good in these blasters. Um, I have watched some of the hobby boxes being opened. And um, I love the fact that they put the booklets in this year. That's awesome. So here we go. There's seven cards per pack. There's six packs per card. Uh, there's an auto or mem card per box. Uh, blaster exclusive. We're going to unwrap six green parallels, which means there's going to be one per pack. And then we're going to find two lava parallels per pack, uh, per box. I'm sorry, per box. Um, so that's really cool. There's your, not odds, but uh, there's basically what you can find in there. Um, let's see if they have the, uh, yeah, they don't have odds. Um, I forgot I was going to look at the booklet odds and see what the, so it features a 162 card base set, including a 100 base, 62 rookie baseball material booklet signatures. Black and white seems numbered to 99. So there's the empty box. Let's get started and see what we can find. The absolute blaster. I hope we can pull pull something nice. Let's see. Oh, there's a big old thick pack. That's going to be our mem card, I'm sure. Let's hope it's a booklet. But let's see what we can find in the blaster. And I will give you guys my thoughts on this at the end of the video on the ab Absolute Retail Pack. Or box. Alright, so let me adjust this camera just a smidge. Alright, Ichiro starts us out. Very basic uh, card design. I mean, nothing, nothing crazy, nothing super special. Just kind of looks like Panini. Uh, Marcus Semyon. Vladdy Jr., that's a nice one, a little ding there on the corner, but I love Vladdy cards. Any Vladdy's awesome to me. And there's a historical duel, uh, historical duels card. Um, Roger Clemens and Andy Pettit. Historical duels. Juan Soto in the green. That's our first green parallel. We'll make a separate stack for that. There's Rod Carew. And Trevor Story. So it is kind of neat that you see some of the older, you know, names in the um, in the absolute. My goodness, packs are they do not open like like top packs. I'll say that right off the bat, they they do not open nice. So here we go. Let's see what we can find here. There's Randy Rosarena. Have a very nice mem card to him back right there, Randy Rosarena. Out of Topps Tribute. Randy Rosarena, Ronald Acuna Jr., and he is on fire recently. There's our first lava. Let's let's wait on that. Let's 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 let that lava breathe. I think they're nice cards. There's Sandy Koufax and the icons insert. There's rookie class. Kyle Miller. Kyle Muller in the rookie class. That's a green parallel there. There's Yadi Molina in the base. And Max Scherzer. <clears throat> So we're two we're two packs in right now, and I would just say that the base set is um, very very plain. Steve Carlton, Key Brian Hayes, 
Gil Hodges, man, how about the Pirates recently? Wow, they're at O'Neill Cruz, guys. You better hold on to his rookie cards. And if you don't have any, go get some. Josh Lowell, Ozzie Smith in the green, and Roger Clemens, and Cody Bellinger. Yeah, at O'Neill Cruz, uh, he may be. He may get some rookie of the year votes if he uh, keeps going the right he is. Him and even like Bly Madris, man, they're they're Yeah, if you haven't checked out the Pirates recently, good go check out the Pirates. Um they're doing some really crazy stuff. Um Bly Madris and O'Neill Cruz, they're really playing well. Whit Merrifield, there's Jose Ramirez, there's another lava there, and we will we'll let that breathe and go to a Hallworthy Willie Stargell card. That's a nice little insert there. Hallworthy Willie Stargell. And there's our green. It's an Icons of Mookie Betts. Nice card there. Roy Campanella. Eloy Jimenez. Still not back from his injury yet. I was looking at the... Um, kind of just like... Just looking up different players today. And, and checking out some different stats and stuff. And... Man, there's another player that's injured that just, man, we've been waiting for forever to get back. India, Aloy Jimenez, Fernando Tatis, and then, like, players that I have faith in that I really was hoping to would take off this year, like Bart and um, Akil Badu, and uh, there was one, Joey, uh, Joey Bart. Did I say him already? Joey Bart, Joe Adele, Joe Adele, Joey Bart, Joe Adele, Akil Badu. Um, all down in the minors. All got demoted to the minors, and... Um, which is really just crazy. Jonathan India, Sammy Sosa, Ozzy Albies, nice card there. A rookie class of Ronzi Contreras. That's a nice one. Ronzi Contreras. There's our green. It's going to be Luis Robert. That's a nice one. Lou Bob. I love Lou Bob. He's he's really hitting well right now. Josh Donaldson and Alex Bregman. And how about the uh, how about the uh, Austin Hayes, the cycle the other night in like six innings, five innings, six or five, five or six innings. Ooh, that's a rookie class, I think. Let's go to the first base lava. All right, our base lava is going to be a pitcher, Corbin Burns. Corbin Burns in the lava refractor, or lava base, whatever they call that. What is that called? Uh, lava parallel. So that's a nice one, Corbin Burns in the lava. And let's check out this rookie class, I believe it is. I think that's the insert. It is Ronzi Contreras again. Ronzi Contreras for the Pirates. A lava of Ronzi Contreras. That's a very nice, nice looking card. I really do like the lava. That looks, that looks awesome. All right, let's check out what we got in here. Highly doubt it's a booklet, but being as there's so many, I'm just hoping it it is. Um, I've would love to pull a booklet. It's not going to be a booklet. It's just going to be a mem card, I'm sure. Uh, I would be surprised if we pulled a booklet in in a, in a blaster. There's Javi Baez. There's Frankie Lindor, and there's a rookie class of Joe Ryan. That's a nice one. Very nice uh, rookie there. And there's a Hallworthy Nolan Ryan Green. Nice nice parallel there. Mark McGuire and Christian Yelich. Now it's time to check out our mem card, and it is going to be David Price. A David Price Threads card. So, nothing special there. Um, let's go ahead and check out our Heritage, our Heritage Blaster. And then we will pull our last um, absolute blaster. We'll see what's, what's in there. So we're looking for short prints basically in here. It's pretty hard to pull an auto out of a blaster. It's been done. I've, been, I've done it once, I think. But I don't I don't open a whole lot of heritage retail. I go for the, um, the hobbies. So Charlie Blackman, DJ Stewart, Tim Anderson, Ryan McMahon. Framer Valdez, Nick Ahmad, Luis Freas, and Alex Reyes. Alex Reyes and Luis Freas. All right, so here's our short print. It's going to be Austin Hedges. Austin Hedges short print card. That's our first Heritage Pack. 
that's basically the set I'm working on. I know I have enough cards. Uh, I don't know if I have every number, but I mean, I have a stack of heritage to put together. I'm just not sure if I have all the short prints. So that's what I'm basically looking for, just to make sure I have enough there. Jerickson Profar, Michael Conforto, Chris Bassett, Dustin Garno, Garno. There's Randall Gritchuk, a Thai France. New Age Performers, Dylan Carlson, Hans Kraus, and there's Rookie Pitchers. I have that card in the purple, uh, purple hotbox parallel. I have a lot of those in the purple. I love the purple and I love the blue speckle that you get out of the mega boxes. They're awesome too. Bobby Bradley, Lance Lynn, Gary Sanchez, Ryan Jeffers, Jeff McNeil, John Means, Brett Phillips, Phil Gosellin, and Miggy Miguel Cabrera there on the end. Running through these a little faster, obviously, the Absolute is the first time I've done a Absolute on this channel, so I wanted to take my time and kind of look at the set. Rowdy Telez, Yandy Diaz, Matt Chapman, Meadows, Seth Brown, Jose Abreu. There's Juan Soto, that's a nice one, and Jake or Odorizzi. Odorizzi. And Taylor Ward is the short print there. Taylor Ward. Nice Juan Soto there, and we did get another short print, which is always good. Love pulling the short print uh, cards. Tucker Barnhart, Zach Grenke, James Caprillion, Trent Grissom, Kyle Quentrell, Ramil Tapia, uh, Nolan Ryan, there's an Anthony Santander, and a Brian Goodwin. All right, Odubel Herrera, Zach Wheeler, Adrian Hauser, Mike Soroka, Josh Rojas, Luis Areas, Marcus Semyon, Brandon Nemo, and Tarwin Walker. We have two packs of Heritage left, and we are then on to our last blaster. Another short print card in here, it looks like. Miguel Stanell, Brad Miller, Justin Turner, Sonny Gray, Cole Irvin, Joe Ryan, a Manny Machado short print. Very nice. A Manny Machado short print card, Colton Welker and Tommy Eadman. Very nice. I love the love the Machado. That's probably my favorite card in the um, in this box so far. Machado, it's a shame though, man. Down on injury for at least a month, maybe maybe a little more. Alec Mills, Lamonte Wade, Dominique Smith, Kevin Gossman, Matt Olson, Max Muncy. There's New Age performers, Jaron Duran, Cedric Mullins, and CJ Crone. So. Not a terrible box. Got some short prints. Not a great box either. Um, so, let's go ahead and just get right into this blaster. Yeah, Machado. Man, the Padres just can't catch a break. Tatis down, and, and uh, he's been down a little bit longer than I think they were ex originally expecting. And now, um, an empty box. Uh, now goes Machado. And Machado was really having a nice season, so... Let me see if I can find the mem card in here, and there it is. It's going to be another mem. It does not feel, it's definitely not going to be a booklet, so that stinks. All right, well, again, it's probably going to be pretty difficult. I think the, the booklets are probably like a hobby thing, which which is kind of nice because, you know, if, if you put booklets in, in every box of retail, there's no point to go buy the hobby, and you got to have a reason to go buy a hobby, which actually, you know, makes more sense, actually. You know, Jacob DeGrom, Robbie Ray, Mookie Betts, and there is a Bryce Harper Extreme Team. That's a nice card. Rod Carew, Jordan Alvarez, and Mark McGuire. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I, I, I mean, again, I wanted to pull a booklet because I just, I wanted to pull a booklet at Absolute. I love them. I love booklets of all kinds. You know, I just love booklets, but um, it does, it does make sense that they would kind of if they hold them out for re for hobby kind of only or mostly hobby, I, I can't hate them for that. Even though I'd love to pull one out of out of this box, um, I just I can't hate them for that because I, I love the fact that 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 they would do that like to to make people want to go buy the hobbies um, because I think supporting your LCS is is very very important. Uh, Shane Bieber, Joe Jackson, there's our first lava. I'll just go ahead and set that down. Hopefully, we can pull a nice rookie. There's Kirby Puckett Icons, Videl Brujan in the green. That's a very nice one there. And 
Christian Yelich and Rod Carew. Did that last did that last pack have a green? I missed it. It's very possible. Yep, Rod Carew was the green. Okay. Just setting those aside because oh there's a that Kirby Puckett. Yeah, if you guys haven't watched our break from the other night of the upper deck 1995. Uh, go check that out. It's a really, really cool video. Really fun to do. Um, had a great time doing it. And um, they pulled some really cool cards in there. Uh, so go check that out if you haven't yet. Salvador Perez, Jose Altuve, Jazz Chisholm. And there is a Bystorm, Storm, Adolis Garcia, Trevor Story Green, a Trevor Story Base, and a Yaddy Molina Base. So, um, I'll just go ahead and start my review right now. The the base set is very bland, I feel. Uh, it's nothing nothing special. Um, Ryan Sandberg, Wilson Contreras, Billy Martin, and a rookie class of O'Neill Cruz. There we go. There's a hit. O'Neill Cruz. Just talking about him. There's a Christian Yelich Green. And Mike Piazza and Clayton Kershaw. So, two more packs. Yeah, if you want my honest opinion, uh, the base set, but yeah, it, it's nothing special. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Panini baseball. Um, I do, you know, I don't. I open them. Um, I, I, I open them for the fun of it. I open them for you guys. I open them just, just you know, to, to know what's out there and to educate myself. But I don't collect a lot of Panini. You know, uh, just I just don't. I prefer to stick to the licensed stuff. Xander Bogarts. A Adolis Garcia. There is a Hallworthy of Barry Larkin. A green of the duels, I think. Historical duels. And it is Ken Griffey Jr. and A Rod. The kid and A Rod. In the green, Ron Santo and Pete Alonzo. So, yeah, I mean. You know, it's a nice, cheap, uh, uh, cheap box to open. Especially even like the hobby. Um. It's, it's a very cheap box to open. I think I just put that uh, the lava away without even looking at it. Maybe I'm wrong. Yep, there it is. It is a rookie class, I think. Oh, no, it's Hallworthy of Gary Carter. Gary Carter is the Hallworthy uh, lava. And let's check out our other one here. It's the base. It's going to be Bo Bichette. That's a nice one. I love Bo. Love, I PC a lot of Bo. So that's a cool card there. And our last pack here. And like I said, I can pretty much already tell you it's not a booklet. Um, yeah, it's just going to be another another napkin card, I'm sure. There's Luis Robert, Albert Pulholz. There's a statistically, I can't read that other word, speaking. Statistically speaking, Brian Reynolds. There's our green of Christian Yelich icons, a Thurman Munson and Jose Abreu. Our relic is going to be Rasiel Iglesias, Rasiel Iglesias for the Angels. So two napkin cards, no booklets. So um, that it is what it is. That's kind of what I figured. Um, I wonder how good the auto odds are. This says auto or relic. So um, the autos are probably even even harder to pull than the... Or I'm sorry, the autos are, might be even easier to pull than the booklets. I'm not sure what the odds are. But um, my overall thoughts, real quick before we end. It's a nice cheap open. Um, you do get an auto or relic every blaster. So that's cool, you know. For the money, I would go get the hobby. Um... It just kind of makes more sense to me. They have a booklet in it. Um, there's autos guaranteed in it. Usually you pull three. I've seen some with two, but most have three and a relic or two. It, it's a very, um, to me, the choice is clear just because, you know, if I'm going to open Panini product, I'm going after the hits. And there's just better hits and guaranteed hits in the hobbies. And there's uh, much better odds of pulling something big out of the hobby. So that's my personal thoughts. Um, retail review out of 10. I'd probably give this product like a 5, maybe 6. Uh, I do like the Lavas. So um, I'm not a fan of the base set really. 
but uh, I do like the lavas, and uh, it is nice you at least get a uh, a relic in in, in in every box, a relic or auto, but uh, most of them are going to be relics. So um, I guess I'll give it a solid six, just a six. Um, so again, for the money, go with the hobby. Support your LCS and, and go with the hobby. Grab a couple blasters to open just for fun, and uh, if you're going after the hits, go to the hobby box. Uh, so that's my personal thoughts, and um, thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll be back this weekend with more for you guys. Maybe we can pick up some select. That's my plan. There's two new releases this week, so um, my plan is to open at least the select, maybe both new uh, new uh, products, and. Um, we will we will see what we can get our hands on. Maybe we'll have a Topps Chrome Break posted to our Facebook uh, or Bowman's Best. Those are the two boxes that everybody wants to do. It seems like right now on our Facebook page we have a poll up you can vote on. So if you guys haven't, go go check it out on our Facebook page and vote on it. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Until then, this has been Caleb with Dixon Line Collectors, and we will see you next time. Good night.